Hi, I'm Ed from Rigid, and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to mount the 161 to the 300 power drive. Now, as far as setting the machine up, it works the same way as the 141 does. And what I'm referring to there is changing your dies, selecting your pipe size, the work holder, the clamp screw, all of that stuff is the same, okay? Where the differences are is, for example, on the 141, you need this loop. And what the loop does is it keeps the die head from flipping over. Instead of using that loop, what we're going to use are these support arms. Okay, these go mounted into the support arms of the 300 power drive. Some of the other differences are in the guide post. Now you still have the same grooves as you see here. One is for NPSM and the other one is for MPT. Where the difference mainly lies is that this one has, as opposed to this one is blank, this one has a screw hole. And this bolt goes in there. Okay, and what that bolt does is it holds the support arm in place. So you have room for two support arms there. Okay, and once we mount this on the machine, I'll show you how all this works. In this portion of the video, we're going to mount the 161 to the 300. So as you did with the 141, we're going to loosen the collet and slide them back, both of them. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our support arms and slide them into the support arms of the 300, just as you see here. Also, it's important to tighten down your collets. If you need to adjust them later, then you can loosen them. But for now, just keep them tight so that nothing moves. Just as you did with the 141, line up your jaws, tighten up your chuck, and then tighten up your centering device. Now at the bottom here, what we're going to do is we're going to remove this screw. And we're going to put both of these support arms in place. Then we'll grab our wrench. We'll tighten that up. And as you can see here, there's that support arm sticking out. So what you can do at this point is loosen up your collet. Slide that forward, and you do the same thing to the back. Now as far as setting up your pipe, you set up the pipe the same way that we showed you in the 141. Using your pipe stands, making sure everything is level, or at least in line with each other, and at that point you're ready to go.